two, three, four, three, two, one. Click, 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 click. <laughs> it's weird that the click comes after the click. That, that's a sentence. Those are words. Those are words that came out of my mouth. That's, that's fine. What's going on everybody? I am T-Spin to win and welcome back to the Sapper Market. Guess what? We lost another episode. I love tech issues. I love that they are continually happening to me. I spent an hour last night recording another three beautiful days of business, lucrative efforts on all fronts, and it's gone. There's nothing there. The two sources decided to only record one of them, and that one source is unwatchable. There's literally nothing. It's just the VLC media player cone, and nothing happens, nothing plays. I have a feeling I closed OBS before it was done exporting, but doesn't matter because there was only one of them. So something was wrong. Something happened yesterday and we lost all that footage, which is annoying. I hate when that happens. Thankfully, it wasn't like a linear story based game. Like if I had recorded another episode of Thank Goodness You're Here, we'd be in a much worse spot. But it's Supermarket Simulator. So here's here's what happened. You know, last time I could like show you some of the footage and be like, this is what happened because it was an audio issue. This time it was an everything issue. We said that we were going to start the next episode with our new license. We're gonna have all of these new things, the sushi, the meats, all of this freezer stuff, right? We thought it was all gonna go in a freezer. It's it's fridge, it's fridge stuff. It all goes in the fridge. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, we've got the scallops over here. Um, we've got the moussaka down there. And then I'm bad at meats. I, I don't, I haven't eaten meat in like 15 years. So I think it's like steak, pork chops, and salmon or something like that to that front. Uh, and then big sushi, little sushi. So it's all fridge stuff. So I had to sell the extra freezers I bought and then buy new fridges. And we did three days of selling new stuff and that's great. Um, and then and then I did a storage uh, 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 expansion. I did a store expansion. That was the end of the last episode was I expanded the store and it created this little corner back here um, to which now I have $181 in my pocket because this cost everything that I had left. Um, and it didn't go where I thought it would go, but you know, it's an extra four by four. So right now, just the toiletries and, and things are in that corner. Um, I guess I didn't really need it because now it's super open, but you know, we'll, we'll roll with the punches and we'll buy shelves that make it make sense and we'll get new products and we'll be happy we have the space for it. Um, I have three checkouts. I guess that might possibly be new. Um, most of this is, I think the same. I may have bought another one of these just so I could put all of my new stuff on it. So this is probably a new shelf. I, I don't know. I'm just gonna open store. I don't know what's new. I don't know what's different because I don't know what um, I did in the last episode and what I did in the hour that doesn't exist. Uh, there's a third speaker. I think that's new. I, I just wanted more fill for the room. I'm gonna need paint. I'm going to need paint because this is, this is all wrong. But now the question is what what color, what color do I do? Because it's it's purple, that wall and this wall, and then it's green, that wall and this wall with the teal accents. But then what's, do I just do like a purple wall, a green wall and a teal wall? That would be awful. That would be so bad. Um, yeah, okay, so, oh. <coughs> Not until I started talking did I realize there's like some flemminess going on. Um, so there's definitely something. Oh, you're the first customer of the day and you actually checked yourself out. The last three days I played every first customer needed assistance. I think that was even the case with the episode Robin was in on. Um, that's weird. That's, I mean, that's good. I like that I was wrong that every first guest customer person in my shop needs assistance and maybe they're just getting more self-sufficient. That would be nice, that would be wonderful. The less I have to help them over here, the more I can spend doing all the rest of the toilet paper. Um, and I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get a hold on what all of this organization looks like. Maybe I should put that on that corner. No, cause this, the corner needs to be the centerpiece of it, but the toilet paper is all messed up. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine for now. This is us, cause I opened this and there was a shelf in the way I basically, this whole wall was blocked off. This shelf was in the way, the table was in the way. So I had to maneuver some things and I thought, well, what's good to just pop into this corner, nice and simple, and it's all that stuff. All of our foods and things are still out here doing their normal stuff. 
Um, none of this has changed other than the addition. Oh, oh, that's not what I tried to do. I was trying to help and I just picked up the whole thing. Oh, and, oh, and look, and now you can check yourself out. That's crazy. So like this machine you had trouble with, your twin seems to be doing perfectly fine. But once I picked it up and made it disappear and you went to a different one, now you're doing fine. Now you know how to check yourself out. That's so crazy, ma'am. What's up with that? Why are... Oh, it's a third. I literally thought she finished checking out and she came over and was waiting for her sister. <laughs> I thought she went beep, 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 beep. Okay, are you done yet? Are you ready? I wanna go home. I'm done here, I'd like to go. Yeah, they're not even going the same direction. That's cool. Um, I'll catch you ladies later. I don't know which one I'm dating and which one is a stranger to me because you look exactly the same, but I will see you tonight. Or, or you, or you tonight. I'll see you tonight. Mwah. I will see everyone tonight. Party at my place! New space to the store opening! Woo! I'm sorry, that's, I'm sure that was awful to watch. Me just rocking along like crazy. Um, everything, everything's okay right now. I guess I could do some cheese. Go work on some cheese. Working on the cheeses. Praying over to my Jesus. Uh, something about Beezus. That's a thing, isn't it? Isn't Beezus a thing? Here's a picture of what Beezus was when I Googled it. I, oh no, I Googled the word Beezus and that's what came up. Did I? Oh no, I needed more cheese. I did some of the cheese, but it wasn't enough of the cheese. I need more cheese. I can never have enough cheese. Life would be so rough if I had to give up cheese too. I mean, I did that, I did that for a while and it wasn't fun. Plant-based is not something I can recommend. Vegetarian, I can recommend. It's it's very doable in the year of our schlord 2024 because so many people, so many companies, so many businesses, what am I doing? I need to go over here. Have, stop, why does it do that? If I'm holding the button when I walk up, then it thinks I wanna pick up. I can't start holding to put stuff on the shelf until I walk away. Wow, clean dish. Um, Yeah, there's just options now. It's so much easier to be vegetarian. Just Impossible and Beyond have really opened up just people's eyes to the plight of the vegetarian person. And they're like, okay, I might not have choice. When I go to restaurants and stuff, I might not get to look at a menu and be like, mm, what am I feeling today? Like a lot of times if I go to a place, it's like, I'll have the one thing on the menu that is edible for me. Thank you very much. And that's, that's the extent of my experience at a restaurant, but at least I have something I can eat. Cause it was definitely not too long ago where I was going to restaurants and going, um, I'll have like a side of mashed potatoes and I'll have a side of uh, steamed broccoli. Basically, I'll just I'll just have the sides. Just give me a meal of a bunch of your sides, and I will I will just have to subsist off of that. Okay. And now they're just like, oh yeah, let me get you the impossible patty. We have this wonderful um, bratwurst that's that's a beyond meat, and it 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 will be beyond your expectations. <laughs> You know, and it's like, that's great. Thank you. Thank you for being able to cater to my needs. My poopy needs. This is sushi, right? No? What am I holding? Oh, I was, I was holding meat. I was holding meat. I wanted this. This is sushi. Okay. Um, we've got some money. The light, oh, I need more light. It's starting to get dark in here. I need another light. I probably need two lights. Uh, but up, but up, um, one for the storage and one for the store. Itch. <laughs> oh, 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 store, store itch. <laughs> Help me. It's okay. It's okay. All right, pasta. I'm not doing a great job of keeping my shelves stocked. Except that I think I am. I'm just, my brain isn't in. Like, I'm just, it's just kind of happening. I'm kind of running around at the speed of sound. 
places to go, gotta follow my way home. Can't stick around, gotta keep moving on. What lies ahead? Only one way to find out. What am I doing? Just keep on moving ahead. No time for questions, follow my pain instead. Somebody help me. I can't stop. I can't stop. <sighs> okay. Um, um, okay, let's, instead of just screaming random things and singing Sonic Adventure 2 music, let's, let's just have, like, a conversation. Um, uh, how you guys been? How, how's life treating you? How's your, um... Don't say butthole, 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 I was, I was trying, I was trying so hard to literally ask you anything else. I, just a normal question. How's, how's your day? How's your life? How's, none of those could come to me. Everything was superseded by butthole. Um, and as, as a gentleman who suffers from ulcerative colitis, I want to take a unique interest in, um, your bowels. So how, how is your butthole? Let me know in the comments. Comment that that you're you're just you're all regular and everything's fine. Let me know if uh, you know the the frequency is up or the consistent. Stop. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Bail. 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 Tyler. Bail. Bail. This is not a normal conversation for anyone but you. Oh, my mom tried to make me keep a diary of that for a while. This is way too much information. You don't want to know or need to know any of this. But here we are, and I'm talking. When I was first diagnosed. And the doctors were talking to us about what colitis was like and everything we needed to be on the lookout for. Uh, mom, was product not expensive? What? I lost $800 because I had to upgrade my store like an idiot. I spent like $2,200. No, I spent $2,600 and then $80 for the lights. So you know what? The math makes sense. Uh, what was found expensive? Okay. Um, elbows, coffee, dishwasher, moussaka aside. How the heck was something expensive? Oh, nothing... Uh, nothing is over. I have never had anything over. Okay, I'm gonna change the todays, okay? Oh, here's the other thing that I did that isn't on camera, um, because I did this on the last one. I originally, no, I just want 580. I originally had everything rounded out to the quarter. You know, it was, this is 1353, I would put it at 1350. I mean, I'm still gonna do that, but regardless. 394, it would be 375, because when I was doing the checkout, I wanted everything rounded to a quarter because it was just so much easier for me to make change. I didn't have to worry about dimes, pennies, nickels. I would just give people quarters and dollar bills and then that was it, that was their change. But I'm not checking people out anymore. It's all self-checkout. So it, it took me way too long of self-checkout only days to realize that, oh, chocolate, chocolate. I'm really bad at this. At the end of an episode, or I guess an end of a recording and the start of the next recording, I'm, I didn't mean for chocolate to be expensive. Somebody caught it, someone called me out on it. I get that, that's my mess up. But anyway, now I, I'm probably still doing things to like the fives. So 306 is 305 instead of three, 240 instead of 225. I'm still trying to be competitive in the market price, but I'm, I'm, um, I'm a lot, less concerned with it being to the quarter because I don't have to make change. Beep boop, the machine does it for me. That's great. I'm glad I don't have to fill these things with money. I'm sure that'll be an update at some point where they need a lot more maintenance from me as a human being. Um, I need I need to stock the shelves. So we're, we're gonna stock the shelves and, and then we're gonna be right back. Uh, it's the typical rules of if I say something funny or interesting, um, it'll, it'll be, it'll make it in the episode, but for the most part, for, excuse me, baby. hi, I love you so much. I do. I'm doing a thing right now. Dad needs to, need to focus on this, okay? You are such a cutie. I'm gonna let you out today, okay? You're gonna come roam the house and hiss at the dogs. <laughs> Not that that's something I want to happen, I just know it's going to happen. They're sharing the space a lot better. The cats and the dogs are getting along better every day. Benny has forgotten his fear 
of the cats and he's just back to wanting to play and sniff and and jump around. So um, the cats are close to bopping him again. We haven't gotten there yet. No contact has been made, but I can only imagine at some point soon, Benny's gonna get another bop on the nose because he's just getting a little too brave and comfortable with the kitties. Ugh. Okay, stocking time, see you in a bit. Everything is so far away from my storage. It's like, I've got all of this open space right now. I have to walk so far just to put a couple of freaking sodas on a shelf. I don't know if I should just move it all closer since I'm not actually utilizing all of my space right now. I just come off of that wall and I just go, okay, let's, let's bring these all the way forward. Let's bring that all the way forward. I'm just tired of having to walk so far. It's so time consuming. What an existence. How does anybody do this? They, they don't. Normal people just have other people do it. They get to the point I'm at and then they hire people. Why am I stuck up on this being a no employees run? I have to do it all myself. I, is that entertaining anymore? Is there is there joy to be come from that? To be come from that? Is, is there an extra level of entertainment value? I don't know. I don't feel like I'm panicking the way I was before, but that's because the self-checkout has been, to a strong degree, very helpful. I'm still keeping stuff stocked. I'm still trying to run a good business here, but I'm definitely less overwhelmed than I was previously, which I can't say is a bad thing. It's, a, it's good. I don't want to be freaking out and overwhelmed the whole time, but is it making good content anymore? If I'm just like, ba ba ba, skip ahead, do the next day. Ba ba ba, skipping back around. Like, I don't know. Am I am I doing too well at this? Do I need to be worse? Because the last time I upped the challenge, it was me trying to do all the stocking. While people were just in the store, I went, oh, let's just double up on all of that work. And I just made it so much harder on myself than it had to be. I mean, a couple of people not being able to find a product isn't the end of my world, but I just can't. I don't want anybody to have any complaints. I want my store to be loved miles across. I want people to come to an inconvenient distance just to shop at my store. You could go to the supermarket right around the corner. I would prefer you go, oh baby. <laughs> you tried to jump and that you did not succeed. Hi, I'm sorry. I feel such, such a neglectful father. You just want, you want attention. Can you get up? You can get up if you can get up. <laughs> you can come up if you can jump up. There you are. Hi, baby. Oh, he's just out of frame. Oh, he's gonna settle in. Oh, he's so warm. So here's a major problem with having lost footage is that I, I made jokes. I did bits and I thought some of them were funny. I thought it was a funny enough episode that I'm disappointed that it's gone, but I I have this urge to like retread bits and jokes because I don't want them to go to waste. They were spur of the moment then. And I'm like, oh, do I fake it? Do I try to still pull off that bit, that joke and just act my way through it being a natural experience on camera? But then also, is it a joke I made on that last recording? Please, fries, please, thank you. Or is it a joke that actually made it into like an older episode and then I'm just gonna be making the same joke? Like how embarrassing is that thought of, oh, this this joke I made, this bit I did got cut from that hour that I lost. It's okay, I'll just, I'll try it again. No one will know that I'm recreating the bit just because I feel like it's, it's worth still trying to get something out of it. And then I go and edit it and I upload it and it's like, oh, Wait, that wasn't from the hour I lost. That was from the previous episode that actually got uploaded. So now I'm just making the same joke every episode of Sapper Market. And that's that's so much worse than anything else. Oh, <laughs> uh, I just I just want funny things I do to not be deleted from my computer on a whim. I would like to have some say in whether or not the content I record gets uploaded or not. I've definitely sat down and recorded things and then watched it back and gone, this this is nothing. There, there's nothing here. I'm not uploading this. 
I, I spent an hour trying it and it just, it didn't work out. That's okay. And sometimes you just, you just lose that footage on purpose. You choose to lose that footage. When the computer and technology decide for you, it's a big kick in the nads. It's so unfortunate. Nobody enjoys it. And I know that it happens to everybody. You know, there are people with millions and millions of subscribers that still have the same problem. Every so often technology will just be an issue and it will just choose to not do what it was supposed to. And that stinks. I feel like it happens to me so much more often than it should. And I don't know, sometimes I know what I did. Sometimes I know what caused it. Plenty of times I have no idea what did it. And that's the most infuriating thing. This last episode, losing it, my thought is that sometimes when I close OBS, I hit the stop recording because I have two instances of OBS recording. One is the webcam and the mic, potatoes. <laughs> and the other one is the gameplay and the desktop audio. So that way I can like equalize levels. I can go full screen with the camera and then put myself in the corner. Like I, I just gives me options for editing instead of it all being on one sequence. So the easiest way for me to do that is just open OBS, open a second instant of OBS, and then just have them simultaneously record next to each other. So when I hit stop recording on both, sometimes it still stays lit for a second. Like the stop recording doesn't black out, it still stays blue because it's exporting the footage. It's like, okay, let me just finish this up and put it on your computer and then it's ready to access. And yesterday I hit stop recording and it went dark and I went, cool, it's done. And it went dark immediately. It didn't do its normal thing where like it takes a second and it thinks about what it needs to do and finalize and then do it. It just kind of did it. And I went, okay, cool, that was nice, that was fast. So I closed them thinking it was done and then footage wasn't there. So my brain, my initial instinct was, oh, I closed OBS too early. Crap, now that means that the footage is corrupt and there's just a problem but there was still only one instance of footage. Like it's it's not like both the webcam and the gameplay. I don't even know which one actually recorded because I can't see it. It's just a thing. Did I get you? Now I did. Um, That should be it. This should be good. I think this is us. So I don't even know. So this is a time where I'm like, oh, I think this is what happened. Sometimes the audio all messes up and that's just, that's something I can't do anything about. Sometimes the UX2 system just decides it's a headache. When we lost Robin's audio, I know what happened there. I know that, you know, I set up a thing, closed it, reopened it, and I didn't remember those settings. So the supermarket episodes, the two that we've lost now, I have a pretty good idea what happened for the most part to make that happen. But there's plenty of instances where it I have no explanation. I have no answer. So here's what I'm gonna try just to double up on time is I'm gonna put this stuff on the shelves in the stock room while we're open for business. I figure I can, I can put this stuff away and save myself a little bit of time doing this while also just manning the shelves. I didn't mean to open this, that's fine. Um, because I'm definitely, the one drawback to doing this myself, and I feel like I keep reiterating this, so apologies that this is a broken record piece, is that it just takes a lot of time. It's just, I'm trying to do all of it by myself, which means I can't double, triple up my time by having some people take care of one thing while I focus on and do another. I'm just like, yeah, I got it. I, I will work around having to run the store for the day and then stock all the shelves at the top of the day and then reorder all the stuff and then put that where it needs to go and then open the store and then keep it running. Um, so I wanna try to double some stuff up. I think having it ordered, like the shelves are full. To the extent that I, I feel comfortable is these are full. We are at least a full store at the top of the day, which buys me time to do this. I think the last episode with Robin where I went wrong was none of it was stocked. I just straight up opened the store at the top of day and that's when like people couldn't find butter and everything started going downhill. So as long as the store is full, the shelves are full at the top of the day, this can all happen 
on top of people coming in. And then once this is in a good place, I'll step in there and see what we're looking like stock wise, and what I need to start throwing back on the shelves, what people have bought up in these first couple hours. This is what feels comfortable. This is what feels good. This feels like progress. This feels wise and smart and intelligent and brave and other words that are complimentary to me as a human being and make me feel valid in my existence. Let's talk about anything else. Um, let's move on from all that self-congratulatory crap. So you might be noticing uh, it's an episode without Robin. Robin's at work today. Um, I actually recorded yesterday's episode by myself as well. So it wasn't even, we lost footage with Robin and now it's being replaced with just me. I, I got home from work and I just like, I had energy and I was like, oh, I, I kind of want to try to record something today before going into my weekend, just cause I've got the energy now and I, I want to be able to put it on camera. Um, we saw how that went. So hooray for that experience. Um, but I, I don't know, like I, I've been talking back and forth with Robin about the episodes and I'm always happy to have her on camera and to be a part of this. I, I really appreciate that she expresses interest in my hobbies and is like, hey, this is a thing that you do. I would love to be a part of it. And it's new to her and you know, she's, she's still trying to get her bearings as far as being in front of a camera and talking and stuff. And I think we have a good back and forth. Like I'm definitely enjoying having her be part of the episodes. I don't, I don't dread handing her a microphone because I think she is funny and interesting and has things to say. And we bounce off of each other. Well, as a good little comedic duo thing. So that's great. But every so often I'm gonna wanna just kind of do an episode myself. There's definitely a difference between doing content by yourself and doing content with others. And I mean, you know, it, back in the day with Waffles, it was the same thing of like the back and forth with him. And that was kind of what the channel was built on originally. And then I started to find out how to do solo stuff once he was gone. And I had to figure out how to fill the time by myself. And I, you know, all of the, the years of streaming on Twitch and stuff too, that was, that was all just me. Every so often Waffles would sit in or he'd come and say hi, but like that was kind of the bread and butter of a lot of it was me just talking for hours every day just to keep people, I would hope entertained, um, if not add noise to their life. <laughs> that's, that's the Tyler guarantee. If anything, I will add noise to your life. <laughs> What a what a ringing endorsement of yourself, Tyler. Congratulations, you idiot. Um, so Robin will definitely still be back in episodes. Every so often I'm gonna do stuff by myself. Every every other so often she will come in and join us. So just expect a little back and forth. Like thank goodness you're here is definitely me kind of running that game by myself. Um, Supermarket Simulator and there's some other simulator games on the horizon that Robin will come in and out of either when our schedules line up or, okay. When our schedule was lined up, I was confused by, I thought like nobody was checking out. I thought there was a huge line at one of them and there were other ones that were open. Doesn't matter, forget my words, forget my thoughts. Chicken! <laughs> Except for that word, remember that word. Um, Yeah, so Robin will be back, Robin will be around. It'll just be, sometimes I want to do that back and forth. I want to have her with us and somebody to just like, you know, make comments and joke with. And sometimes I'm gonna wanna just sit here and just stream of consciousness off the cuff, just say the most random crap that I do when I'm sitting here alone. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Does that make sense? It's okay if it doesn't. That's just my brain. <laughs> anyway, did you comment about your butthole earlier, by the way? Like I told you how much that mattered to me. Um, so, I, I, and that's why I kinda wanna swing back around is that I, I don't want you to think that that was just like a flash in the pan bit. I I, I hope that your your bowels are good. Uh, I want I want it in the comments. Tell me in the comments. Are you are you good? Tell me how you're doing. Tell me how your bowels are. Did you do it? Because I can see how many people watch this video. I can see the views. So if I have X amount of views and the comments are less than that, uh, some of y'all are keeping your bowel stuff to yourself and you're not doing yourself any favors. It doesn't have to be me either. You can go talk to a doctor, your, your GI, your primary care, just, just go to an office, hopefully where people wearing white coats 
and um, go into a private room with one of those white coat people and pull your pants down and have them just like put something in there and let you know if that's good and they found out what they needed to find out or it might require some fi- further spelunking. You know, just just be healthy. That's that's what healthy existence is, right? That's That's how one takes care of their health by letting strangers examine their orifices. That's my existence. I don't know, each their own. Why are you watching this? Why Why are you here? I, I don't think I should ask that question as often as I do when it comes to my own content. What I do, I do very often. Why, why? come on, please. This, it's, it's madness. It's insanity. Oh, okay, freaked out for a quick second. I don't think I'm human. I, there, there has to be something wrong with me. Got really quiet. The world is judging me. The world is judging me in my lack of humanity. Oh my gosh, what? What do you need? I'm also getting back to the awkward hair phase and I'm not I'm not loving it. It's it's getting to the point. I'm in the middle ground where it's too long to be manageable and short, but it's too short to like easily put up. <laughs> I can't manage it either way. It's just in the awful middle section. I'm growing my hair back out. When, they, when we initially cut it, the whole intent was for me to grow it back out. And that's what we're doing. And it's just, it's getting colder, which means it's getting more bearable to be outside and alive with longer hair. But I just, I, I'm currently missing the times of COVID where I got to do the awkward phase in my home. And I mean, it was still documented. The awkward phase still is on footage. <laughs> it's still on camera. There's plenty of footage of me in the old apartment with my awkward hair stylings as it was growing out. But uh, I didn't have to go out in public. I have to go to work like this. I have to talk with important professional human beings looking like this and being like, yeah, so um, anyway, for your wedding, I think it would be wonderful if we set a thing up like this and then um, the lights would kind of do this little foo, fly across the room bit and everything and it just seems like a great a great way for your, you know, $3 million Disney wedding to look. And then, and they look at me and I go, so yeah, I mean, I look like a mess, but your wedding is going to look great. Look at that. 55 customers, $830 made, no complaints, nothing expensive, everything found. If anyone was shortchanged, that's their own fault. Steak and pizza mixed. Hey, it's De Niro. Is De Niro's mixed pizzas. All right, let's update these prices. Where? There we go. Four ninety, twelve fifty-five. Look at that. A penny under market value. Uh, okay, let's start stocking. I honestly don't know how much of a fool I'm being for playing off of the market price. I I don't. No, because I mean like, okay, so we had the chocolate and somebody complained about the chocolate. They went, oh, this is overpriced. I'm not going to buy this. One person. I don't know how much chocolate I sold because I wasn't keeping track of that particular inventory, but I still sold chocolate. It was a couple of cents over, but are, are the NP, oh my God, footage. Stop doing this. Stop freaking out. You're freaking me out that I'm going to lose another episode. Uh, oh my gosh, what am I saying? I don't know if... It's just like a roll of the dice. Like, I don't know how the game is programmed. I don't know how smart the NPCs are, the shoppers, that something is overpriced and they are just like, oh, 50-50, this thing is, let's say $80 for what should be three bucks. I just price some hand lotion at $80. And then they go, this is over. Roll the dice, 50-50 shot, heads or tails. Cool, yeah, I'll buy it. Or is it the higher it goes, the less likely they are to buy it? What is the what is the tolerance factor? How much are they willing to spend on the products? Because I could definitely be charging more. I've mentioned it before, so I'm going to mention it again. I'm watching Game Grumps play through this, and I watched Aaron do that bit where he just decided to mark up like crazy. I'm sorry, I'm having... There's like a burp, but it's not burping. 
So it's just kind of stuck in my throat. So I'm having trouble talking. Um, oh God, it's like heartburn, but it doesn't burn. That's a sentence. Everything's wrong. I'm falling apart. I'm dying. Death is among us. Among us. Play the Among Us song. I bet I, I bet I did such a good job that that Among Us is gonna come ask me to record all their new audio uh, stingers. Anyway, um, yeah. So I saw Aaron do the bit where he like marked up astronomically his hand lotion, and people were still buying it. So, am I a fool for trying to play the game as intended off of the market values? Should I be asking for more for all of my products? Because this game would go so much easier if I was making more money. I mean, that's just, I think that's just life. I think that easily translates into just normal existence of things are just easier when you have more money. Money might not buy me happiness, but it buys me things that make me happy. Like I don't go to the happiness store and I go, uh, I'll take one happy please. And then they inject me straight into the, into the cordycep. Is that what I want? That's, is that a body part? Or is that a thing from The Last of Us? I'm, I'm not a biologer. So somebody else is gonna have to take, take the head on that one. Um, yeah, uh, moving on anyway. So I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know if I should be charging more for my products or not. Should I stay competitive? Should I play off the market value? Or should I say, eh, screw it. Everything is marked up by $10 and then just see what people do. I couldn't take the complaints though. I, I care too much that all of these people like me and like my store. I want them to continue to shop here. I can't take negative feedback. That's why I didn't make it as an actor. I don't take rejection. Please like me, like my store, like my content, subscribe. Leave a comment about your butthole. I don't know, I need this. Please. Oh, I have so little. I ask for so little. Now it's probably a good time to, to, to skip ahead. This is what I get for trying to look off to the side while walking. Just slam into the corner. Can't find my way out. I can grab this product off the shelf and look over here. Yep, that's uh, that's what I wanted to happen. Hey, supermarket simulator developers, I have I have an idea for my sapper market. I think there's something. I, I have the next update for you. Um, trash can. I get that there's a trash can out here. I want in-store trash can. I want to be able to put right here in the corner a trash can so that I don't have to run outside with every box. I get a, a, a can inside that can hold like, I don't know, 12 boxes. And then I have to take that trash out. Huh? What do you think? How about that? How about instead of me having to run out onto the corner every time I have a box empty, and I mean, I'm not even throwing it away. I'm just full chucking it out into the street and then letting Letting my save and close game wipe this whole mattress pile from existence. Mattress pile? Tyler, mattress pile? What? What? You 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 stop talking for a minute. You you silently stop. Just just for a minute. Just I don't know what that was, but I'm embarrassed for you. Just just I'll I'll see you when I'm less crazy. Do 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 to click on things. Do 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 to buy some stuff. Da 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 to increase my inventory. We're buying the stuff by looking at the thing and pressing the button. What a life! <laughs> this isn't a song. It's barely a sentence. What is wrong with me? Why am I like this? Somebody stop me. Fix me. Make me less weird, please. I don't want to be like this anymore, please. Do, 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 do. That is $1,500 of invent. There's shipping? How, how long has there been shipping? 
Has that always been a thing? Okay, order order off of the tablet and then product. Ship. Has shipping always been a thing and I've just never noticed it? There's no way the game has been charging me shipping this entire time. Also, $8 for this whole pile of stuff. I just spent, what did I say, $1,500? How is that not over the threshold for free shipping? And if it's not, this is a lot of weight to be charging me $8 to ship it all. This, it just doesn't add up, it doesn't make sense either way. No, no, this doesn't make sense. This doesn't add up. No, no. <laughs> Nope, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't believe it. Store's open for business. Come on in. Buy some stuff. Help me make my money back. I need to put stuff on the rack. I hope when you're here, you don't talk smack. Because if you do, then I'll talk back. About all the things in life you lack. Come on, I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. Um, um... Um, uh, these prices will give you a heart attack <laughs> and the power of juju. <laughs> all right. All right. We landed that one. Good, good stuff, Tyler. Way to go. You're a funny man, Tyler. You're a funny, funny guy. Oh boy. You just run around being funny, man. Hey, look, first customer of the day needs help checking out again. What's the percentage on this? It's high. This happens way too often. He's just a little high. Don't mind me. I'm just a little high. Get it? It's like I'm just a little guy, but <laughs> drugs. Anyway. Um, what else? What else? What else is going on in the news? Uh, about a bunch of horrible stuff. Let's not talk about the news. Let's talk about something else. Um, um. Nope, I got nothing. Life, life's just rough out there, man. It's hard out there for a, a person trying to start a life. Weddings are exp- Oh, game, stop freaking out. I'm trying to talk about life and things. These are deep conversations. Weddings are expensive. Like, I know this isn't news to anybody, but Robin and I are like looking through venues and trying to get prices and, and quotes and stuff from people. And oh boy, is it just unnecessarily high on the value count dollar space. Like, I I don't know what you guys would think in your head a wedding should cost. Either you've been married and you already had to pay it and you have a number in your head of what you spent or you are not married or you're not, you know, currently in the process of doing any of that. So you're just trying to think ahead of like how many tens of thousands of dollars it might run you and then probably increase that by about 20 to 25 percent just you know for inflation and stupidity and just just absolute madness in the world i just i can't believe some of the prices some places are charging and what that does or doesn't include like some of them it's a high number and they go yeah but it, it's an all-inclusive place the caterers are in here you get the tables and the, um, I almost said the charcuterie, the cutlery, plates, napkins, flowers. Like we we do all of that stuff. And it, it's a little bit pricier because we're just taking care of a lot of it in house and you don't have to go find a bunch of different vendors to all come in and handle every aspect of this. So yeah, I get it. But then when other places are like $10,000 to walk in the door and I'm like, okay, what does that $10,000 get me? An unlocked door. All right, cool. And then when that door is unlocked and I step inside, I find room. And in that room is walls and empty space for you to fill with your dreams and aspirations. It's like, you you gotta give me something here. What is this? Madness, madness. I'm gonna start T, T spin to to wed t spin to marriage ty tyler's spin your head out of control with how cheap it is weddings and just charge you like an acceptable price 
No, hey, it's for a wedding, so I'm gonna upcharge you like madness. Just, hey, you're trying to do a thing. Let's do it at a normal affordable chicken. Chicken. Restocking chicken. Sorry, I had to I had to edit a thing. I got a I got a text that I had to respond to. So I, I just had to pause and respond, and now I'm back. Apologies. Um uh okay, so yeah, we're um uh, weddings are expensive. Yeah, I guess that's the end of that topic. Just expensive, expensive weddings. Um I think the store's doing okay right now. I think we're doing good on money. I I have this pressure that I put on myself every episode that it has to end with something. We have to end with more space, with the next license. Like, we spent three days doing stuff. We have to show some sort of growth to the store, right? So, like, a reason for you to come back next time because there's more things for us to sell or there's more space for me to fill, you know, like all of these things. Except I, I don't always have the money or the means to, to just do that. Can't always just straight up bing, boom, there's the next thing. Like, I got $3,700. And I'm like, I mean, I've still got money coming in. It's only six thirty, but I'm going to have to buy more inventory. And then after that, what happens? Like... What's the next license price? It's gotta be like a thousand, three thousand. Oh, I've got, I've still got, um, bank thing. Bank thing? What is this bank thing called? A loan. What do you get from a bank? A loan. The next license. Oh, it's only 2,800. Okay, that's less than I thought. I thought it was gonna be the 35. <gasps> There's beer on the next license after. Oh, we're gonna have Booze! Oh, I'm gonna have to get a liquor license. How much is that gonna cost? I doubt the game actually cares about that. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, another pizza. That's freezer. Ice cream, definitely freezer. Crab stick, probably fridge. Hot sauce, ketchup, mayo. What, that's six things? And I'm sure all the condoms go on shelves with the mints. <laughs> get it? Because it got... <laughs> oh, oh god oh wrap your tool please practice safe sex or don't i'm not your dad or am i who is to say More chicken. Dear Lord. Oh, I'm about to empty these boxes. Oh, I'm, a, I'm about to clean out this two-in-one box of chicken. And now I got no chicken, which is fine. It's nine o'clock. I'm not worried about being out of chicken. That's cool. That's cool. Um, pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool how I'm uh, stocking chicken and people are buying the chicken. Pretty cool. <laughs> yep. It's, um... Funny stuff, Tyler. Wow, you're just... You just got so many good goose gas bits and boots and cats and boots and cats. Uh, sometimes being alive is hard. Just like existing. It's not always easy. Sometimes it's not all good vibes and good times. Sometimes it's um harsh times and rough vibes. Ma'am, I need you to finish up. You were the only person in the store and you're taking forever. I'm already done with this. I was on the clean dish. Why did I grab that again? I'm cleaning dish. I'm clean dish. I'm dirty Dan. I'm clean dish. 
I'm Mr. Clean Dish, and I'm here to say. Remember, remember, uh, King Dice? Is it King Dice? Is that his name? God, Cuphead is so old at this point. That's crazy. Cuphead is this many years old. It's, it's, that's, that's wild. I can't believe that Cuphead came out that many years ago. I remember it like it was that many years ago. All right, 56 customers. We made $835. I got a balance of 4,600. And that means, oh, sushi tablet elbow. Sushi tablet elbow. Oh no. Step sushi tablet elbow. <laughs> oh, apologies to Robin's family. I know you guys watch this. Why? I, please still accept me as your son-in-law. I I don't I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I just your your love is important to me. And I don't want you to stop loving me because of the stupid things I say on the internet. Just let me marry your daughter, please. <sighs> anyway, um that's that's three days. That's I've, it's been an hour of recording. Hopefully it's less than an hour of video. They've definitely been getting closer to the hour, but mainly because I'm talking during the storage stuff. You know, we used to just completely edit around, putting stuff on the shelves, but then, you know, we had Robin sitting in, so we would still be talking and say things to cut in, and then I'm still just kind of talking my way through it, because it's still part of the content. So like, I'm doing it right now. Look at me doing it right now, as I'm trying to quote unquote end the episode and I quote unquote that specifically because I'm trying to figure out in this moment if I'm gonna have the capacity to get the next license right now. Can I do this or do I need another day? Should I grind a single day off camera and then we come back ready with the next one? We could probably do that or we could try to be ready for it this time. So um, this time for real, for real, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stock the shelves and we're gonna cut straight to when I'm done doing this and I have, you know, re-upped my inventory in storage. And then we're gonna see how much money we have and if we can feasibly get the next license, okay? So I'll see you in three, two, one. All right, so here's here's the deal. Here's what just happened is I, I fully restocked. I restocked for the sake of the next day. And then I did all my inventory stuff. So everything's managed and ready to go and it's up. Uh, I have $3,200 left. The next product license is 28. If I buy this license, I cannot afford the shelves and the freezers for it to go in and on or the products themselves. So here's what we can do. I can buy a shelf and a freezer and next time we'll put stuff in it. I'll do a day of grind, but I will do, I, mm, no, here's what's gonna happen. I'm, I'm not gonna do it. I'm about to buy, I was gonna buy the freezer and the shelf and go ta-da, ready to go. But I, there is some part of me that's like, oh, it's gonna be refrigerated ice cream and it's just gonna get me and it's gonna make me so mad. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not, I'm not gonna do anything this time. $3,200, so. I'm gonna do one day grind in between this episode and the next one. And in the next episode, we will buy the new license and the shelves and things, and we'll just have the new product. I'm not gonna have it prepared and ready because I feel like I keep doing that where I'm like, ta-da, there's a new thing. I want to actually get the thing on the episode and then start setting up for it. So next time we will buy the license. I promise, I promise. Next episode, we buy ice cream, we buy condiments, we buy crab stick and another thing of pizza, okay? I will see you guys next episode for the next license and some things for us to put them on and all of that nature. So until then, goodbye. Have a good one. I will see you next time for more products, more cyber market, more growth, exponentially so. Goodbye. Oh, this one better work. If there is another technical issue and this episode doesn't happen, I'm gonna throw a fit. I'm gonna be done. Sapper market's closed for business forever, eternity. Either this episode exists or the sapper market is done. Board it up. So work, technology, do me a favor and work!